Welcome back. Another week. Another retro segment. This week we're going to feature Aaron Donato. East Coast. Hardcore. This girl did not care about being in the spotlight. All she cared about was riding and progressing on her bike. I'm sure she's still out there somewhere just riding hardcore. Learning new tricks. So check out her story. I just liked the way it looked so much and wanted to be able to do it. It's something you could do by yourself and it gives you a chance to be creative and kind of rearrange tricks the way you want them to be. riding faster, like it just feels better to me. Just be smooth and have style. I just want to be creative, but uh, I feel like I have to kind of go back and learn some older generic stuff to open more doors for myself. I like my bikes as lightweight as I could make it and um, as short as possible because I'm just not that strong and I'm only 5'6", so just light and small, that's how I need it. It usually takes me a long time to learn stuff now. It feels like I have like a real slow learning process. It takes a while. <laughs> I was working for the past two, two years as a CNA, a certified nurse's aide, and uh, I was going to school at the same time to get my license in practical nursing. I was uh, pretty busy with working, school, and riding. I saw Flatland for the first time at uh, the 4-H fair. They had freestyle demos every year there. I saw Flatland and I immediately wanted to do it. Before that, I guess I saw like BMX magazines that people had. And uh, I saw pictures of it, but never actually saw it. Nothing matters when I'm on my bike. Like, nothing matters. Nothing can harm me. It's the best feeling in the world when you, you know, pull something for the first time or, like, think you made up something new. It's just a feeling that, like, nobody really understands unless they ride Flatland. It made me meet a lot of people, really cool people that, you know, I wouldn't have met if I didn't ride at all. All these people like scattered across the U.S. And, and from Europe and Canada. I'd really like to go to Japan in the future. The scene is just insane out there, like flatlands everywhere. Everybody appreciates it out there. In the U.S. it's really, it's not really like that. I just want to keep riding, that's it. Mm -hmm. 